From the Shinto religion practiced in Japan, Shinto meaning the way of the gods or spirits, comes the story of Amaterasu, the sun goddess. The universe began when the god Izanagi escaped from the underworld. As a cleansing ritual, he bathed in a river and created three siblings. The eldest, Amaterasu, was born when her father wiped his left eye. She was immensely bright and beautiful, was placed in the heavens and became the goddess of the sun. Izanagi then wiped his right eye, from which another bright being was born, Tsukiyomi. Although not as bright or radiant as Amaterasu, he became the god of the moon. The skies were divided in this way, day and night, between both siblings. The youngest, Susanao, was born when Izanagi wiped his nose. He was not beautiful or bright, but wild and uncontrollable and was told to rule the ocean and became the god of storms. Amaterasu and Susanao constantly argued. Susanao always found a way to upset his sister. One day, when she was quietly weaving in her palace, Susanao flew over her house and dropped a bloody, dead horse through the roof, thinking it would be amusing to frighten her. The blood splattered all over the floor on Amaterasu and her beautiful tapestry. She was furious, and her work ruined. The goddess of the sun was so angry that she went into a cave, pulled a giant boulder over the entrance, and decided never to come out. Inside the cave was warm and bright, while outside the entire world was left in total darkness. Imagine an endless and cold night. Plants couldn't grow, animals couldn't eat, and everything seemed to fall into chaos. All the spirits of the mountains, rivers, plains, and valleys came to the cave, begging Amaterasu to come out and save them. But she was still angry and would not listen. The gods and goddesses concluded that somehow, they had to convince her to come out. So they all sat in a circle in front of the cave and pretended to have a joyous gathering. One of the goddesses flipped a wooden tub over, jumped on it, and started an amusing dance. Her footsteps on the tub made a drumming sound, and her silly dance made the other gods laugh. Their laughter attracted the attention of Amaterasu, She was curious to see how others could be happy without her brilliant presence. She pushed the boulder slightly open and asked what the other gods were doing. They yelled back, We're celebrating and having a great time. We found another goddess just as radiant and beautiful as you. Amaterasu was confused. Another goddess like me? She thought. She didn't know how to feel, but was curious to see who this other goddess was. She moved the boulder further open and looked out. A wise god had made a mirror out of shiny metal and hung it on a tree in front of the cave. When Amaterasu looked out, all she saw was her own reflection staring back at her. Because mirrors weren't created yet, she didn't realize that she was looking at herself and believed that in fact there was another beautiful sun goddess. 
As she leaned out even more to have a better look, one of the gods grabbed her and pulled her out. Another god quickly pushed the boulder and closed the entrance to the cave, and a third hung a holy rope over the entrance, making it a sacred place where no one could enter. After seeing the effects of her absence, Amaterasu came to realize how important she was to the gods and to the world. She decided to take her place in the heavens once more. If you ever find yourself in Japan, you can go to the Grand Shinto Shrine in Ise, where that same mirror of Amaterasu is housed but no one is allowed to look upon it, except for the Emperor of Japan. According to Shinto belief, the Emperor is a direct descendant of Amaterasu, the goddess of the sun. Therefore, he is the only one who can gaze into the mirror. <laughs> <laughs>